now let us try to solve this problem okay so what the problem says that abc is a triangle okay so abc is a triangle here a b c and with the side ab is equal to ac okay so ab is equal to ac here right and d be a point on the segment bc so d is a point on the line segment bc so let me join this line ad here make sure it is not perpendicular to this bc okay be sure on that such that bd we don't know actually we cannot say exactly that ad is perpendicular or not we don't know that okay now here bd bd is equal to 48 and 1 by 61 so kind of it's a weird number right now here cd cd is given 61 unit is not given so you can consider unit of length that's it now e let e be a point on ad so on ad e is a point okay such that ec such that c is perpendicular to ad so this this c line this is perpendicular okay so ec is perpendicular to ad fine and ad and de is given okay so ad and de is given how much 11 okay ad and de let me write it clearly de is given 11 this is a unit of length actually so this is the given data right so using this we need to synthesize all this information and find out the answer for this ae right so let's try to solve this one okay now what we can do somehow if we can uh, just generate some relations for this length ae and later on after generating some equations we can just equate them and we can just get the value of ae we will have to generate equations here actually and we can just equate them and find the value of a so let's see how can we do that okay so of the observe this triangle here that is your triangle ced so triangle ced i hope you can see it clearly okay ced right so ced triangle ced right so here you can see this uh, definitely this line ce is perpendicular to this ad right now for this cd we can apply pythagoras theorem here so we can write ce is equal to square root of okay square root of this one we can write so here this cd if you observe the triangle and if you apply pythagoras theorem here so you can write cd square equal to ed square plus plus ec square so from this ec square will be so ec will be under root under root cd square minus ed square so under root cd square minus ed square right and cd is given see it is given 61 so 61 square minus 11 square so this will be a square a square minus b square form so a plus b into a minus b so you can write here 61 plus 11 and then 61 minus 11 so after calculation you will get okay 72 times 50 so if you find the square root of this one so 72 times 5 5 2 is 10 5 7 30 36 So square root of three six zero zero zero, okay, three six zero zero. It is your sixty, right? So this is sixty unit, sixty unit of length. Anyways, I'll be using calculator for okay finding the values of this kind of square roots and now in the question it is already given that the length of AB, the length of AB and the length of this AC is equal. So you can see clearly it is an isosceles triangle, isn't it? No? So ABC is an isosceles triangle. Okay. so it is your isosceles triangle fine now what we can do drop a perpendicular from this point a what you can do drop a perpendicular on this line bc and call this line f okay so this f okay so if i am dropping a perpendicular then definitely you can see here af okay af is perpendicular to bc here right so this this angle afc or afb whatever you like to say it is 90 degree right so after dropping the perpendicular i can say that this f is definitely dividing this point okay this line into two parts this bc line that is one part is bf one part is bf and one part is your cf and these two parts will be equal because it is perpendicular bisector right so for this one we can write for this one we can write bc so bc is equal to bf plus okay cf cf and we know this one that bf is equal to cf we already know this one because of the perpendicular bisector property okay now <coughs> now you can just put the values here happily so here bf and cf since they are equal so we can write here 2 times bf 
is equal to BC. Now for this BC, what we can write? For this BC, we have this BF and CF here. So for this BC, what value we can write here? So BD. So BD plus CD we can write definitely. Okay. So for this BC, for this BC we can definitely write. Okay. BD plus CD. BD plus CD. And this length of BD and CD we know. CD is given 61 and BD is given. Okay. So just use the values here. So one one of the value will be your 48 and 1 by 61 and the other one 61 here. Okay. So after calculating this one, you will get FBS. Okay. Or BF whatever you like to say. This will be your 54 plus 31 by 61. You calculate this one. Okay. I have already calculated this one actually. I don't want to waste your time. So we got the value of this BF here. Right. Now, <coughs> now what we can do? So we can, uh, you can observe this triangle. Okay. We need to relate this AE, right, in various equations. If we can do that, then we can solve this. So observe this triangle AFC. Okay. So observe the triangle AFC. Okay. AFC. So if you observe this triangle AFC, so we can write here. This is a right angle triangle, right? Of course. So we can write here AC square is equal to AF square plus CF square, right? We can utilize this equation here. So observe the triangle AFC and try to use this one. AC square equals AF square plus CF square. I hope my this writing is clear to you. Okay. Now this one we can write. So from this we can write AC square. So AC square we can write here this CF. Okay. So CF the length of CF. Okay. So for the length of CF, CF is equal to BF. Okay. We got this BF value. So we can write here. This will be your AF square plus CF. So for this CF, you can write 54 plus 31 by 61 whole square, right? Now you can observe this triangle. There is one more triangle here. Mm, let me show with this color. This triangle you see. Okay. AF, if you can observe this triangle, AD, ADF, okay. So ADF, triangle ADF, right? Triangle AD, ADF, okay. So it is again a right angle triangle. So triangle ADF. So observe this triangle, okay. So triangle ADF again, you can, okay, let me write it clearly ADF again. You can apply Pythagoras theorem here, right? So you can write here, you can write here AD square, isn't it? So AD square equal to um, AF square plus FD square. Okay. We can do that. So we can do that here, but before taking that one, if you see AFC, we have taken, so ADF will take it later, but let me do one thing wait let me take first of all this a is okay okay adf if you see if you observe this triangle adf so we can write here a ad square okay so we can write here ad square is equal to is equal to what f okay af square plus fd square so here af square plus fd square we'll definitely use it okay next one you can observe one more triangle here one more right angle triangle that is your aec aec okay aec aec so you can observe this triangle here like this. Okay. Wait. So you can observe this AEC. See, I hope you observed it. Okay. AEC, this triangle. So let's try to apply Pythagoras theorem here as well. So triangle AEC. So in this, if you apply, this will be your AC square is equal to AE square, AE square plus. So you can see here AE square plus EC square. Yes no? AE square plus EC square. Now you can use this one to put the values. So here finally I can write here, AC square is equal to A. So A square we don't know actually, we are supposed to find out this one. Okay. Now EC, EC is already given. In the problem it is already given. EC is given how much? Uh, just now we saw, I guess, we have found out, sorry. It is not given, we have found out actually here. Okay, EC, 60. So you can see here, see, it's kind of given only, right? Because those values are given, we just synthesized. Okay. So this one, 60. Now here, 60 square. So we got this one. So let us say this is your equation one and this is your equation two. Okay. Why so? We can just equate this. Right now we cannot equate, but if I if we can just generate a relation, if if you can see the relation here, AF square. So somehow we'll try to reduce this AF square. How you see? We'll use this, okay. AD square is equal to AF square plus FD square. Let's try to utilize this one. So here AD square. So for this AD square, we can write AD square here af square plus df square 
and this ad can be written as you notice here ad this ad can be written as ae see see this one ae plus ed length right so ae plus ed so we can write this one as ae plus ed whole square so a so you can see here that a got involved here right we want to involve a as much as possible so that with equations we can just sort out these things easily okay now this will be your af square so af square we don't know this one of course and fd square so fd square this fd okay what about this this fd how can we uh, figure out this value of fd here you see i'm writing here actually i don't know you just try to watch this in big screen okay now here fd so fd square if okay sorry fd value if i try to find out if i try to find out this we can write you see we can take this length of bf length of bf we can take and we can remove we can remove the length of bd we can remove the length of bd right we can remove the length of bd here so finally i will use this one okay so i can use this now fb okay so fb is already there 54 and 54 and 31 by 61 and length of bd length of bd bd is given okay this 48 i have to remove this one so minus 48 minus 1 by 61 so minus 48 minus 1 by 61 so that becomes your 6 54 minus 48 6 plus 30 by 61 this is the value of this fd right fd value we got finally so we can use it here so we can write here 6 plus 6 plus it, what it is 30 plus 61 okay so 30 sorry 30 by 61 whole square what i am saying okay anyways now here we have this af square i hope it is readable to you okay now you we can use this two equation okay equation 1 and 2 we can use see how so we can write here you see this is your af square right so here you have this ac square here you have the ac square right so you can write here af square plus i am using the equation 1 right so here 61 sorry 31 by 61 whole square and this one this ac square okay can we break it further so af square okay okay fine so we have here af square okay so we'll try to reduce this okay we'll try to um, reduction how can we do here okay this is ac square again ac square is here right this is your a square plus 60 square here okay now this af square okay this af square ed value of ed okay do we know the value of ed ed is ed is okay ed is 11 see it's given here right ed 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 it is given in the question you can see in the problem statement it is given see ed 11 right so don't get lost okay so ed so ae now in place of this in place okay in place of this af square i can write here see from this one i can write af square is equal to ae plus 11 whole square minus okay minus 6 plus 30 by 61 whole square so we can write this one okay so we can write here as a plus 11 whole square minus 6 by 30 sorry 6 plus 30 by 61 whole square and this one plus 54 plus 31 by 61 whole square and that is your a square now you can see in this equation only okay the presence of a is only there right so now if you solve this equation finally you will get okay you will get a is equal to okay a is equal to 25 you will get here that's it this i have already calculated actually uh, you can just open all this and calculate it okay like here you can apply a plus b whole square and here also a plus b whole square so calculation wise this problem is little notorious but this can be done okay so 25 cm no 25 unit of length anyways in the question there is no demand of a unit of length but i hope you understood this one okay so what i did i just generated equations involving a as much as possible okay and then i equated and finally just resolved this to value of a so definitely means you can just uh, resolve this one and if you notice one thing this a square will get cancelled okay you will have only linear one linear term of this a after solving this one okay so i hope this calculation you will do okay i hope it's clear okay fine